All right. What's up, Luke? It's freaking cold. <laughs> <laughs> it is super cold. We woke up this morning and it was like negative 11, but it was a negative 20. Oh yeah, I guess it was negative 24 and then now it's like negative 11, which is so much better. Either way, the trailer is no longer at the build location we've been at. We moved it to a friend's indoor shop because we're gonna be doing some cutting, solar installing, window installing, exterior lighting, all things that uh, negative 11 isn't very uh, helpful for. So we're gonna head over to the shop, but we've also got John and Steve here. We've got, uh, who else is here? Jimmy, yeah, you, go, yeah, we just, <laughs> let's go to the shop. Where's the, uh, where's the key, Mike? <laughs> there is no key. <laughs> this, uh, this is the putt around town truck that uh, Jimmy has. That it's like a Jeep truck though. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no key, no key. So we got pretty much like set up. Let's just call it set up. Organization, starting to get a game plan with everyone, get our jobs nailed down. I'm gonna be doing the solar stuff. People are gonna be doing exterior lighting, uh, interior wood finish. So it's just gonna be stuff all over the place. My first job of the day is gonna be starting to measure out and wire the solar panels. So I gotta get these guys up on the roof and start looking at that, but I'm gonna show you what, what else is going on around here. You legal not to? We've got Johnny, I think it might be regulation. we got Luke, <laughs> and we got Jimmy. Johnny Blue Tape. Johnny Blue Tape, yeah. So Johnny and, and Luke are pulling off all the tape and everything, getting all these marker lights, because we drilled, how many, Jimmy? Too many. Uh, 85. 85 marker lights on the outside to light this thing up uh, like a Christmas tree. And uh, now we're getting ready to wire them all. So how's it going, Luke? It's cold. It's cold. I feel like that's the third time. Definitely the third time today that he has said it is cold. Welcome to Colorado. <laughs> all right, I was also gone for a weekend and Jimmy got all these walls in. And then when I got back, we put in these upper pieces. So uh, good job, Jimmy. Well, <sighs> Jimmy, man, he got like all the walls in. Uh, we just finished putting up the ceiling and this thing's really starting to come together. I mean, it's crazy. So right now what the goal is, is we're gonna be putting up our spacers right here, which are gonna be on 45, 45 degree angles and it's gonna cover here. Essentially, we took some of this plywood and we got our cuts made. You can see all of our lines are hitting there, they're hitting here, they're flush. So when it's done, it's gonna have a nice angle to it. And we're gonna do that all the way down so it's seamless all the way down to the end and back around. And it's ready for you. Let me just finish this last two marks so I haven't done. Just in case you were wondering, those are on one inch, 16 inch, 32 inch, and then 47. So we have consistent holes all the way down. Also, I probably could have just mute moved the camera, but this was way easier. Hey Jimmy, why don't you tell the class what you did today? That is a nice piece right there. Where does Precision that... is what we do. That's, where is that going? Goes right here, clearance around the spring. Holy crap. Yeah. That's yep. a tight fit. Yep, that's how we do it around here. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering how we're actually putting these in, uh, if you can see this right here, when it's pushed together, the 45 up here and the 45 down here, are matching perfectly with our bottom wall and our top wall. So when you screw it together, you get kind of that perfect little casing. Just a little bit of space behind, 
but it's working out great. As you can see, this side's pretty much done, and uh, We got Luke right here. Who would have thought it was hot? Luke, say hi. You on candid? You're on candid camera. <laughs> These <Heat laughs> <Mark> guns are hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's an oxymoron for the day. <laughs> that box right there, man. Might be pretty heavy. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Come on, young blood. They're great. Make the old man noises. Thanks, man. Also, I just want to quickly throw it out there that, I um, mean, really this entire solar system, uh, I worked with my friends over at AM Solar to kind of put together this system for this particular project. Um, what they did is, because I'm at an off-grid location where it's really hard to get parts, uh, they pretty much just sent me everything I needed. So we've got everything down to our solar mounts, uh, the solar panels, wiring, uh, combiner boxes, everything, all in just one easy shipment. Um, so I just want to say thanks to Garrett for putting that together and just helping me out uh, and getting the parts super quick. But got to do the measurements and get these panels installed. All right, we just got the all the things done for our solar mounts. I decided to space them uh, two inches off the end, but they're totally adjustable. You can put them anywhere, but I went two inches. So now that I have them on, I'm gonna place them over in the front, mark their locations, and then get ready to drill. And then we'll get the other one all set up and ready to go. All right, I'm currently waiting. I'm currently waiting for uh, a tool so I can finish mounting the solar panels. But I'm gonna go check up on see what everything else is going on because there's a lot of things happening around here. First up on the list is Luke. What's, What's up, up Luke? How's it going? Good. Gotta get these butt ends in there. What are you doing? Hey, get these butt ends in there so we can fit the lights on. Oh. So we can make her the big old Christmas tree. And how many have you done already? I lost count after 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see what someone else is doing. It's a hard choice. I'm asking everyone what they're doing, and uh, I'm going to ask you what you're doing right now, Jimmy. Got my hands in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jimmy actually does a lot of work. Let's see what the brother's doing. You see, this, this guy's working. This guy's working. So I'm going back up to the roof. Uh, in, in all truth, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy and Stevie are running the town to go get supplies, so they are doing something. We just like to make fun of them because we're all working and they're just driving to town, which is helpful because it keeps the job moving. All right, back to these solar panels right here. Uh, measured everything out, so we got everything, boom, perfectly on the lines. So now we have to do is find the center and then mark that center so we can get everything nice and square. Then we pre-drill our holes, get the panels in, and we're good to go. How you doing, Luke? I don't even have to say it. Yep, you have to say it. I'm cold. <laughs> My theory is, and Jimmy's theory is, everyone besides Luke is, there's no such thing as cold, you're just not dressed right. You're telling me you're not cold right now? I do have thermals on and everything, so. I don't know, plus you have gloves and you're good to go. All right, a little update on the solar project going on right here. So I got the panels upside down. I'm getting all the wiring going for it. And we're running it over to this combiner box, which I just installed. Um, we've got the hole in the roof. I got to screw it down. And then all the wires are going to run into that combiner box and then connect into a single wire that's going to go down to the MPPT controller. Um, but this thing's looking good. I'm, I'm happy because everything's square. All the wires are running nice. And uh, there's just a lot of work going on on the trailer today. So, I mean, I'm happy. I think Jimmy's also happy. Uh, so we really can't complain, but gonna keep working on these panels, get them nice and wired up, nice shrink wrap, uh, nice tight connections, and make sure that it's gonna be a one-time install, never have to get touched again. So we 
got the panels in, the wires are connected underneath. We have them fed up to here. And now what we have to do is put this box in where we can get all the wires into the combiner box and then they'll go down through these into the MPPT controller. So I think it's coming together good. I think we're done on the roof here. The panels are all installed. We've got two, like I said before, 170 ZAMP panels, and then we've got all of our wiring coming down the side out uh, into the combiner box. And then pretty much at this point, the roof and all the holes are done. And now it's time to uh, take that wire inside the actual trailer and connect it to the MPPT controller when we get to that point of the solar install. But hey, it's done, take a look. All right, we already had the inside wire done. Uh, as you just saw, we got the upstairs. So the wire comes in right here. It's coming down through the wall, and then eventually it's gonna end up right about here where we're gonna be mounting all of the solar components. So real easy, just down, around, it will go behind the wall, and then all the solar stuff will go right there. So got enough length, keep going. Now it's time to install the 30 amp hookup. Get that wire in there, so should be some fun, but let's go check up on what everyone else is doing because I hear they're having a lot of fun with like 86 marker lights. Hey Luke, I need an update. Putting together 85 of these lights. Christmas trees, no problem. What do you mean? Oh wow, look at that assembly line right there. Jeez. And whose fault is 80, 85 lights? Do you want to point them out right now? <laughs> you think to say, Jimmy? Just focused. I'm getting these done. <laughs> how long does it take per light? Uh, about 10 minutes each. And how many lights are there? 85. So how many minutes is it gonna take? 850. 850 minutes. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's the update. That's how things are going. They're just moving along. I'm gonna get back to this 30 amp switch. I gotta get this guy installed into the side of the rig so we can uh, get them wires run. So it's gonna be going right about here. Well, I hope that's the right size. <laughs> there it is. We have power. All right, little marker's done right here. So we put it right in line with the crank for the gooseneck, but uh, 30 amp, I mean, it's pretty much all done. I just gotta get some nice stainless screws to put in there because the screws that came with it weren't exactly uh, gonna match the look. So we're gonna go to the store, pick up some stainless, but it's all wired and pretty much done. So on to the next task. Also, if you're wondering, yes, red light, small box. Yes, they are still working on marker lights. John, you still working on marker lights? Yeah, small box. We got another 65 to go. <laughs> Okay, that's another day on the build. We finished all the marker lights. We finished uh, the solar on the roof. We finished the outside 120 outlets. Uh, man, we got a lot done, but tomorrow we're onto another day, onto window installs, onto some more exterior work, and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and uh, get ready for some window installs. Isn't that right? That's right. He's so excited. Patrick, aren't you going snowmobiling tomorrow? I won't be here tomorrow. <laughs>